we? Yes, <laughs> yes. Although last night we didn't stay up too late. Because I was too tired. We were both tired. Do you want me to fill that? Who's going to be mother, huh? That's so cute. <laughs> Isn't that for pouring? How does that work? It's the, all those British. <laughs> Now we have to plug in we, we, oh, we've got one. We We're good. That one. <laughs> we got it covered, Margaret. We got it covered. Okay. Like I said, this this woman has this all covered. <laughs> you are just so clever. You don't give yourself enough credit. She doesn't give herself enough credit. She really doesn't. You're just so clever. She's like Martha Stewart, but she's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Martha doesn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to talk to you. She's heard worse. <laughs> that is really cute. Yes, and this is a perfectly balanced Strainer. How cute. Oh my gosh. It's, all, it's, it's the, where the roots come out of the bamboo. The whole thing's bamboo in this fine mesh. Oh, heaven. Oh, so that you don't get teeth. That's so perfect. <laughs> well, if you do that, how do you read your teeth? He signed up for the Navy again. And lo and behold, he was put on a ship, and there was this handsome young man. Good of heart, pure of soul. He was only 17. Oh my goodness. And Ooh. it was Tom. He lied about his age, didn't oh, he? Of course he did. A lie. Like a little white lie. Oh, just evidently. a little white lie. But um, he and my dad would sit on the deck of the ship and talk for hours whenever they were off duty. And Tom, uh, Dad came home and told me about Tom. I heard about Tom till I was good. <laughs> And my mother met him. She went back to the Christian relationship, and she was starry-eyed over Tom. <laughs> and that's all I kept hearing, Tom, Tom. And then one time my dad brought him home on one of his leaves. And it was a cold winter night in Michigan. You know? And I opened the door, and uh, Tom came in, but he didn't shut the big wooden door behind him. Why does he leave that open? So, your father had come. Yeah. Okay. Dad was there too. Oh. So they both were in the front room then, and then we shut the door. <laughs> anyway, my dad said, "Get acquainted." My nose was rubbing against Tom's harsh pea coat. Wool pea oh. coat. Yeah, they made it small. Hi, Tom. <laughs> yeah, and Dad pushed us together, and I was rubbing my nose on his chest. <sighs> Rough pea coat, you know. Yeah. And. Uh, Tom was so, so embarrassed, and he was kept my back a little bit, <laughs> smiling, like he didn't know what else to do. And I didn't know what else to do either, but it was joyful, you know. How old were you when you met Tom? Well, he was 17 when he enlisted. Yeah, but he was older when I met him, finally. Were they on the same I think he might have been 18, the whole and I was probably 18 or somewhere close to that age. So, were, you, were, were your father and Tom on the same ship throughout yes. the war? Oh, yes. And my father was such a romantic stinker anyway. Mm -hmm. He laid the groundwork for Tom and I to meet. He had decided that this is the man for my, my yeah, daughter, right? Yeah, he was right? always looking, and he decided he wanted the best young man he could find in the Navy. And he told me one time, he said, Tom is the famous, most decent fellow on the ship. In fact, in the whole Navy. <laughs> My dad didn't exaggerate. I thought, oh boy, this is perfect. Do Here. you have any sisters? No, I was the only girl. Ah. Two brothers and a sister. Okay, so this was extremely important. Yes, it was. Yes. And my dad wanted to make sure I got Prince Charming, the, the best he could find in the whole Navy. And you did. And he did. He told me. He said, Tom is the most decent fellow in the whole, on the whole ship. In fact, in the whole Navy. I said, are you willing to swear on a stack of Bibles? <laughs> but um, my mother came home. She met him. 
when they uh, on the ship. And she was in the She came home right from the She was a tall, hard, fine young man. And I said, well, that's nice, Mom. You know. Were you feeling pressure? I was. Everybody's pushing from either side yeah. to meet this guy. But my brother's you better fall in love with him. My brother's really loved Tom, too. Oh, if that I had helps. agreed to marry him, I you would have been exiled from the family. <laughs> they would have adopted Tom, him. And you yeah. can go. <laughs> you can go, Mark. Okay. I have to get a sense of yes. something. Margaret, this story I heard differently from my lead. I heard that your your father opened up his locker and there was a... Am I right? Yeah, let me tell you. Yes, yes. To tell, see, because she's right. not telling you the whole story. And my father had a picture of me from my high school graduation. Ah. And it was a good picture. The one Mom, that she like looks that. like a Hollywood star. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. So Tom was tall and he stretched himself up over. The dad was very short. Yeah. So he could look over his shoulder. Finally he said, well, um, Earl, is that a picture of your wife? No, my daughter. Damn it, he <laughs> shut his mouth <laughs> <before. laughs> But Tom had an advantage because he was six foot four. Very tall. And he, He'd gotten a good look. Yeah. <laughs> he said, that's not your wife, that's your daughter. I said it was my daughter. That's the story I'd always heard. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he'd already... Yeah. Laid eyes on you.